Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Qasim Khan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Osman Khan and we are also speaking on behalf of Kamran Khan and Omar Khumbu, who unfortunately could not be with us today. Initially, Diary of a Bad Man started off with good intentions. We were hoping it would be a unique opportunity for us to display a lighthearted message to the youth. After a matter of time, we realized uh, that this uh, project that we were involved with, uh, we did not possess the correct knowledge and we did not have the backing of a person of knowledge and so it led to many misconceptions and bad examples being set by us personally. And as we all know, the best of examples to follow is the final message of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ourselves, inshallah, uh, soon enough, in the next couple months or so, will be releasing a video, so please look out for that. But in the meantime, uh, pay special attention to and take heed of the message from our beloved brother, Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Jabbar. Muslims have taken this guy as a role model. Muslim men and women, they sit at home watching his videos on YouTube and Facebook and following him on Twitter. This guy, oh Muslims, I ask you, I ask you, oh Muslims, do you watch his videos on YouTube and Facebook and you follow him on Twitter? Is it because he makes a mockery out of Allah's religion? Is it because he makes a mockery out of the Sunnah? Is it because he makes a mockery out of the companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is it because he listens to the devil's music? Is it because he makes a mockery out of the woman with the niqab on, with the hijab on? Is it because he makes a mockery out of the food that Allah provides for him? Is it because of this or Muslims of the 21st century? You watch his videos on YouTube and Facebook and you follow him on Twitter. And who is this person? Diary of a bad man. This is the guy who makes a mockery out of Allah's religion. And many people you meet, they say that he's following Quran and Sunnah. He's following Quran and Sunnah. My brothers, I ask, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can sit around with women? Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can go around and listen to the devil's music? Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can call an Islamic event a homosexual event. Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can make a mockery out of the words of Allah? Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can make a mockery out of the beard? Tell me, where is it in the Quran and the Sunnah that you can make a mockery out of the food that Allah provides for you? Fear Allah, fear Allah, fear Allah. Because it could be possible, and it is possible, that he has said a word that Allah dislikes so much than the day of judgment. Allah the Almighty, he will overlook his deeds and he will throw him in the fire of hell. You do not know what your actions would unleash. And what else do we find? A Muslim woman who wears the hijab, the niqab, who makes a mockery out of the sunnah of the wives of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the niqab. And what is she doing? In a club with about 20 men around her, dancing around her. She's rapping around. Sitting in a Range Rover, listen to the, listening to the devil's music. And then she's giving the woman with the niqab on a bad name by running around the house with a knife. Is this the sunnah? Is this the religion of Allah?
Is it? This is not the religion of Allah. And many Muslims say that he's upon the Quran and the Sunnah. And I'll say one thing. That if you haven't got nothing good to say, then remain silent and shut your mouth. Because this is why exactly the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that if you haven't got nothing good to say, then remain silent and keep that mouth shut. And if you've got no shame, I will say exactly what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. That if you've got no shame, then do what you want. But remember your return is to the Almighty Allah and Allah the Almighty on the day of judgment, He will grip you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Qasim Khan. I was one of the original members of Diary of a Badman. I wanted to create this video after realizing the effects my presence within the videos has had. I wanted to talk about why my presence within the videos, the things I encouraged and the things I partook in are not correct examples to be followed and why people should refrain from watching Diary of a Badman. You have the cronies of Diary of a Bad Man saying that we have bigger issues out there and you are talking about my man, Diary of a Bad Man? You think I do not know what is happening in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in Chechnya, in Bosnia, in Yemen, in Syria? You think I do not know the children the age of seven are raped and killed on the order of Bashar Assad the dog? He's the Pharaoh of the 21st century. And may Allah turn his face into a pig and order the earth to swallow him just as he swallowed Karun and then throw him out so we can put him in Turkey Museum next to his brother Pharaoh. And what shall I do? You want me to forget about Diary of a Bad Man and let him deviate the Muslims? Look at the new music video he's in, listening, dancing to the devil's music. Then you have the Muslim saying that he's having a joke. You think the deen of Allah is to be taken as a joke? Remember one thing, there were people who were before us and they made a joke out of Allah's religion. And Allah the Almighty hated their jokes and he transformed their faces into monkeys and pigs. And his cronies say that I'm an extremist. Because I speak about the evil that he's doing. If you've got a problem with me, then I assume that you've got a problem with Allah and his messenger. Why? What I say is exactly what the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the music is a tool of the devil. I say exactly what the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, you dare speak ill about my companions. I say exactly what the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. And then you have others saying that only Allah can judge him. Are you dumb or are you stupid? Those evil dogs who bow down and worship Bashar Assad, they say we will fight your Allah. The very people who say that our Mahdi will come and resurrect Abu Bakr and Umar and he will crucify them. The very people who say that our Mahdi will come and he will resurrect Aisha radiallahu anha and stone her to death. Are you telling me you will not judge them? If I ask you that is the devil going paradise or hell and you say to me that he's going hell, shall I say that you are deviated because you judged him and only Allah could judge him? Listen very carefully. No one says diary of a bad man is going in the fire of hell. It's a possibility, possibility that his evil actions will lead him in the fire of hell. I end by saying exactly what Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu said. That when the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was alive, he used to judge them because Allah used to reveal it to him. But now the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has left the world. We will judge what is apparent.